People of barbecue restaurant in the east experienced flooding last night, but they are already open for business today. Elise Sandlin has more from Aiden on how they recovered so fast. The drainage has already significantly improved outside the skylight in barbecue after the owner Sam Jones used a personal old fire truck to pump and drain water across the road. Aiden's skylight in barbecue has been a favorite for over 75 years, but it sits in a compromised flooding area. Due to heavy rainfall last night, the parking lot on Lee Street flooded and several inches of water entered the restaurant. Once we were able to get it down enough, we finally caught it a night. So, but it was definitely not something that we want. The restaurant was open when the excess water buildup occurred and customers were instructed to remain calm inside the restaurant. Employees say this is not the first time they have seen this happen. It's definitely shocking. Um, making sure everybody stays safe. Nothing, no one falls, gets hurt. Employees say the water didn't reach more than three or four feet past the doors, and owner Sam Jones was able to drain the parking lot before more damage took place. Assistant Town Manager Stephen Smith says flooding in the area is not uncommon, and the town continues to take preventative steps by cleaning storm drainage. Especially leading up to um, two storm events, we'll get out and try to clean as many of our storm drains as we can. You know, we know the water's coming, we know our system's there, we just want the water to be able to get into it and hopefully get uh, get out as, as soon as possible. Skylight Inn Barbecue opened Tuesday morning and greeted customers as usual. Flooding around Aden is mostly clear after suffering minor flooding of roads throughout the town, such as Snow Hill Street, along with flooding in lower areas like Washington Street. Assistant Town Manager Stephen Smith says if the damage had been more severe out of Skylight and Barbecue, then the town would intervene and point them to state and federal resources. Reporting in Aiden, Elise Sandlin, WITN News. And WITN talked to some people living in Aiden who said they hope that drainage systems will be improved in the community to prevent future flooding from happening.